Phil Ryder has worked at Jeep for a decade. With his seniority, he's not worried he'll get laid off. Still, you got to feel for these people, you know, some of them been in there five, six years waiting to find they finally going to get full time. He's talking about temporary workers, and according to Local 12, the new contract guaranteed nearly 900 of them would go full time. All this just six weeks after they were on the picket line. A month later to find out that all these supplementals that have waited years and years and years, literally, to get hired in full time or probably going to get hired in full time and get put out on the street on unemployment. So, you know, was that really a win? Local 12 president Bruce Baumhauer says this is all happening because Stellantis wouldn't sign an agreement in 2019 to improve fuel emissions. 14 states, including California, were a part of it. They decided to not sell our products anymore, which the company looked at that and said, geez, we're going to lose X amount of sales, so we don't need to run three shifts. We'll cut it down to two shifts and, and, and lay off some people. So, yeah, it, it was alarming. But he says Stellantis is doing something to reduce fuel emissions, like making more hybrid and EV vehicles, and the state should give them more time. So the Chrysler's got some more work to do, but uh, give us a chance to do it. Don't kick us out. Though Baumhauer may understand what the company is going through, he doesn't think they should lay off his members. I'm saying no. I'm saying we're going to put pressure on the company. Uh, we've talked to them about it even today and said, you, you know, we want you to offer uh, layoffs to senior people who might enjoy taking the summer off and let these let these new hires uh, begin their career as full-time employees. That's our position and we're not moving from it. Andre Norrells with that report for us. Uh, Bruce Baumauer says if layoffs do happen, they have a system where they will offer people who have been with the company for a longer period of time the chance to take turns taking time off to save some of the newer workers. UAW is still working on an agreement, and on Monday, Sean Fain, the president of the International Union, will host another Facebook Live. We'll keep you updated as soon as we learn.